Shift Sean Carroll, who is a proponent of the many worlds, says to you, Carlo, you're trying to hold, you say that the many worlds is distasteful because look, the cost, that, yeah, but you're calling it a cost because you're trying to hold on to something else. So what if Sean says that to you? Um, I, I am in a discussion with, with, with Sean on a, on a, on a number of things. He not only, uh, take the many world interpretation seriously, he likes it, but he likes a particularly radical version of okay. the, um, of the, if the Retian or many world interpretation. If it's not but radical he, enough already. Right. He, he yeah, he, he called it the mad dog, he called it the mad dog uh many world interpretation the mad dog uh, uh, in which there is only Hilbert space and state and uh, Hamiltonian nothing else so he want to extract everything from from that uh I'm, I'm, I'm I I'm debating that I I think it's not going to work in general relativity for this and that reason. I mean, he has a, he has an answer, which is, yeah, you know, Carlo, you have this thermal time. I can use your thermal time to make it answer. So he's trying to use my own ideas against myself. <laughs> uh, um, uh, what would he say uh, to me? Well, I think that there is a, he belongs to a, um, a group of physicists uh, that are very much in love with many world because they find it very simple and, and straightforward. There's just this wave function and out of this wave function, we can extract, uh, um, we can extract the rest. So, um, uh, I, I never heard him, um, telling me what he think in the relational interpretation is, is wrong because when we, when we've talked with, um, we talked about his ideas, uh, especially his this mad dog version of of Everett, and I I, I sort of uh, tried to point out what what are the the, the, the technical limitations of this uh, um, of this idea. Um, there is some people who learned quantum mechanics starting from Schrodinger, and can only think about quantum mechanics in terms of the wave function. The quantum mechanic was not born with Schrodinger. It was born with Heisenberg and uh, um, uh, Max Born and uh, um, the, the, the Gottingen people in, in matrix mechanics before Schrodinger, Pauli, uh, Dirac. Uh, and uh, it can be thought without any wave function, without any, uh, any state. And I think that uh, by introducing the uh, the wave function, should have confused things, so made calculation easier, but confused the, the ontology, the, the picture. So everybody started thinking about this wave and, and, and got confused. Um, I think that uh, uh, Sean is definitely not making the mistake of uh, holding on to classical intuition. To, to the opposite. I mean, he, he takes the, the, the Schrodinger wave function very seriously and try to build everything uh, from that. So he's blaming me, probably, uh, what I am blaming Wolfram and Lee, <laughs> uh, namely that I want to stay attached to classical, uh, to variables having values, describing the world in terms of facts. Um, that's probably he, what he, uh, he want to, he would like to blame me. My answer is that uh, I think it doesn't work to think that the world is just a wave function as the way he would like to. He would like to say it's a wave function and nothing else. There's this vector in Hilbert space and nothing else. And I think that uh, vector in Hilbert spaces don't give me pens, don't give me books, don't give me the concrete description of the world. To, to, to have a quantum theory, you need a much more, mm, many ingredients. Uh, so it's not clean, the pure wave function picture of the world. Um, you need the operators, you need again values, you need again vectors, you need this structure. And this structure, he hopes to just take it out from the Hamiltonian. Uh, but once again, I have not seen it happening uh, yet. So I think that the, 
um, this way of thinking about quantum mechanics is not going to be fruitful. We need the algebra of observables. Quantum mechanics is about non-commutative non variables. The core of quantum mechanics is PQ minus QP equal I H bar. This is the core of, of quantum mechanics. Variables don't commute, like Alan Kohn would insist upon. It's a discovery that the variables we use to describe the world are not always defined because they are non-commuting, so they cannot be both defined at the same time. That's core, not the wave function. Now, how is he throwing that out by trying to put so much emphasis on the wave function? How is he throwing out those non-commuting operators? Oh, that's a mag, the mad the dog interpretation. There are no, 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 so uh, no creators at the fundamental oh, no. level. Okay. There is only the wave function, and then he says uh, there is a Hamiltonian, and the Hamiltonian has some structure in it, and from the structure of the Hamiltonian, one can. Okay. Derive from the structure of the convert the composition of Hilbert spaces in subsystems, and the subsystem from the subsystem I can extract something which corresponds to the algebra of the observables. So it's a very indirect way of trying to extract it from the dynamics. It's a dynamics that uh, should give us the variables. It's a long way to go. Is there a reason that he's starting, he's saying that there, let's imagine the wave function of the universe. See, in quantum field theory, and I'm not saying anything you don't know, it, it's like operator value. It's not that people say it's field, but it's like a strange field. It's an operator valued field. So it's not exactly when yeah, the yeah. mystics so say he, it's like all like water and waves. Well, it's like an operator wave, if you want to call that. So why is he not using, why is he going, why is he going to QM and not QFT? In other words. Like the wave function of Q. No, no, no. He, he has in mind uh, quantum field theory. He has in mind QFT. But 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 the particular structure that defines QFT, he would like to say that is only written in the Hamiltonian. Uh, so he would not. He would say that you know the fundamental theory of the world is not uh, QFT. Is, is it's a very rich structure, as you say. There are these quantum fields which are actually operating. So it's local quantum operators, um, it's a field of operators, uh, which commute, don't commute, have this all, all this problem. So you have to give all this machinery to make it work. And this machinery, the operators, the fields are observable, so what we interact, describe how we interact with the field, right? Uh, he wants to discard all that. He wants to say there's only a big Hilbert space, a Hilbert space is just, you know, a gray thing, we don't look at anything, and a Hamiltonian. Okay. A Hamiltonian is just how the, what, what gives the motion of, 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 of the state in the Hilbert space. But you will say the Hamiltonian has some structure inside it because it, we can, it's eigenvalues, have some structure, some, some, some way of combining them, and these secretly know about all the machinery of quantum field theory. Uh, it's, it's a technical step. I don't know if I if I, if I need to go into that. Um, but 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 he has in mind quantum field theory. In fact, the, the the property of the Hamiltonian that he uses is is the locality of the interaction. The Hamiltonian can be written as a uh, and, and the locality gives the region of space. Uh, uh, so he has this. This uh, extreme uh, Everettian or extreme uh, 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 many worlds. Uh. And my objection is you need a Hamiltonian. You don't have an Hamiltonian generativity because there's no time. 